guys and welcome to this video. In this particular video we are going to be talking uh, about nine things and um, what are nine things that we took away from this game considering the fact that we scored nine damn goals and we won 9-2 against uh, Dynamo Zagreb. So yeah here is nine things uh, we can take away from this game. Uh, if you go on to enjoy the video please do smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button to everybody that is live. Uh, while we are doing this, you are all legends. Um, thank you very much because uh, you've been sat here um, watching. So first thing that we have learned um, straight away, Ahmad is in here as well, um, is company bull. Uh, what do I mean by company bull? You may ask. Straight away, this man, this man is he's just doing everything we need right now. Um, he he just is. Yes, maybe we're overreacting because of uh, the fact of um it being uh like so early on and so on and so forth but for me personally you know he's he's doing the whole pep guardiola thing and i don't like comparing him because they're totally different people obviously um but just more in the fact that he's playing keep ball uh he doesn't want to lose the ball uh, he would. He wants to press, 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 press. Which I understand why we got rid of Delit. You just don't come out and say it. Um, and yeah, he he generally right now is doing amazing. Um, and I, I generally think at this moment in time, um, you know, yeah, there's there's nothing really uh, anything else we can say. Second thing that we learn is that we still need a defender. Um, I'm not really too sure why I can't spell, but either way, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> These two are fucking shit. And I'm sorry, I do want them to both prevail. People would say otherwise. But they're just not good enough to be at Bayern Munich. They're, they're just not. And we need to go in and get a, defend, a defender ASAP without a doubt. It's it's just stupid. It really, really, really is stupid. Uh, and to be honest with you, Bayern need to be doing better without a doubt. The next thing, the third thing, is that Olase is a baller this man nothing short of a baller uh, and he has arrived uh, and to be honest with you i am super duper happy that he has arrived he is a baller uh scored two goals he actually scored with his head today which he doesn't normally do um which in itself is mad uh but yeah absolute baller absolute baller and i'm super duper happy uh to to have him at the club um because, like I said, he is a baller. I just want to see more and more and more and more of him uh, ASAP, to be honest with you. Because he's just that guy. Uh, and I think he's going to have a wonderful, wonderful career at Bayern Munich. He's already doing it now at such a young age. Um, so, yeah, what's what's next for him is should be the question. Fourth thing we have learned is the fact that Harry Kane is him. Harry Kane is him. There ain't no if, buts, and maybes about it. Harry Kane is him. He scored a hat trick of penalties today. People will call you a pen merchant. I don't see Mbappe scoring a hat trick of penalties. So, how about kiss my ass? How about that one? Kane is him, and that's all that needs to be said, to be honest with you. Um, he's absolutely balling. Two back to back games that he's got a hat trick, uh, and best striker in the world, in my personal opinion. Um, Kane is. Him. Fifth thing is that Yao Polinia needs to play more. This man next to me has just said it. He is an, he's the guy that said this. Um, so, yeah, he needs to play more. Uh, he would help with those counter attacks. The fact that we, if you look just down below, conceded two goals is nothing short of a joke, um, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, without a doubt, Yao Polinia needs to play more. Again, he's an absolute baller. Um, sorry for the blurry picture, but he's an absolute baller and he needs to play um again what number is on his bloody t-shirt number on his shirt is six because he is a six he is a cdm he is the modern day sergio Busquets with more power um so yeah come at me i don't care um and it is what it is yeah. he needs to play the sixth thing is that spongebob squarepants himself cannot save shit and this is the guy I'm on about. Man like Sponge Hands. I don't know if any of you guys have watched SpongeBob, but you know when he's out there with Sandy trying to do the karate and he's out there with his hands? This is what this guy needs. He needs massive fucking foam gloves that you would have at a wrestling event. 
because this guy is absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um, thank you for your service and goodbye. Simple as that. He should not play for Bayern. He is shit. We played a shit team and he's conceded two goals, bro. What is going on? The seventh thing we have learnt is the fact that Rafael Guerrero, again, sorry for the blurry picture, is nothing short of, a, of just a baller. The main man himself can play midfield, left back, left mid. Realistically, he can actually play left wing. Not that you would want him there, but the guy is so versatile uh, and, yeah, like, so happy to have him. Um, and I would love him to just stay as a squad player uh, and come into these games uh, and just ball out. Um, and not to mention that the man scored an absolute rocket uh, as well. The eighth thing is that 2020 Nabri is back, baby. This man has just done a whole dialogue, and I'm not even going to use it. I'm sorry, brother, but it needs to be done. We need to be shameless at this point. We really do. The main man, the chef, the chef, introducing the chef. Man is back, uh, and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, man like Chef Nabri is back, cooking these fools uh, left, right, and center. Is the fact that Manuel Neuer is nothing short of a madman. And you guys will be saying straight away, no, bro, he was just trying to score an overhead kick. No, that is in our half. That is in our half. He's taken out a player, and this player next to him um, in the blue shirt, and, yeah, he has done a fucking backflip. So it's nothing short of him being a madman. Manuel Neuer, best goalkeeper in the world, in my personal opinion. But at the same time, the guy needs to be less reckless. Like, there's being reckless, and then there's just being straight up. Yeah, not doing his re he's not recreating the Cristiano Ronaldo uh, overhead kick. Let's put it that way, because it may <laughs> as well be. He may as well be. Um, but yeah, either way, may as well do that on his own net. net. May as well do that on his own net. To be honest, hundred. The way he's positioned. Yeah, well, yeah literally. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, guys have enjoyed those. Smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Just a bit of fun. Um, and yeah, without further ado, we're out of here. Peace.